What happens when technology and ethics collide? Welcome to the world of Neuralink, a neurotechnology startup led by the ever-controversial billionaire Elon Musk. Musk has recently made a claim that has raised eyebrows, stating that no monkeys have died due to Neuralink's brain chips. However, these claims have been met with skepticism and allegations of misleading investors. So, what's the truth? Let's delve into the details of this intriguing story. Elon Musk, the billionaire founder of Neuralink, made a bold claim on Twitter. Musk, who's no stranger to making headlines, stated that no monkeys had died as a result of Neuralink's brain chip. This assertion was made amidst the company's ambitious plans to move to human trials following FDA approval for its brain-computer interface technology. Now, why is this claim significant? Well, Neuralink's technology involves implanting a device in the brain with the initial intent to assist people with severe paralysis or degenerative diseases. However, Musk's vision extends beyond this, with him foreseeing a future where healthy individuals could sync their brains with artificial intelligence. The safety of this technology, therefore, is paramount. Musk's assertion served as an assurance to potential investors and the public that the technology was safe and that the company was acting responsibly during its animal trial phase. But the world of tech is not one without controversy. The assertion that no monkeys had died due to the implant was not left unchallenged. However, this claim was soon challenged. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, or PCRM, has called into question Musk's assertions. They argue that Musk's statement, that no monkeys had died as a result of Neuralink's brain chip experiments, is far from the truth. Records obtained from the University of California Davis paint a picture of suffering and health issues experienced by the monkeys during these experiments. These brain chip experiments involved surgery and implantation of the device into the monkeys' heads, and PCRM alleges that the monkeys were far from near death, as Musk claimed. PCRM also underscores a significant point. Musk's statements have a profound impact on how Neuralink is perceived by the public and potential investors. The implications of this are not limited to the ethical concerns surrounding animal testing, but also extend to potential securities fraud, a serious allegation that has led PCRM to request an investigation by the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC. The call for an investigation isn't isolated to PCRM. Lawmakers led by Democratic Member of Congress, Rep. Earl Blumenauer, have echoed these concerns and have penned a letter asking the SEC to investigate Neuralink for securities fraud. They allege that Musk has made misleading statements about the death of monkeys during the trial stage for Neuralink's product, adding another layer of complexity to the situation. Adding to the controversy, a former Neuralink employee has also taken a stand against Musk's claim. The ex-employee disputes the assertion that no monkeys died as a result of the experiments, further fueling the fire of these allegations. These allegations led to multiple investigations into Neuralink. The fallout from these allegations was significant. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Inspector General and the Department of Transportation both opened investigations into Neuralink. These investigations aimed to delve deeper into the allegations of misleading investors and the safety concerns surrounding the brain implant developed by Neuralink. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, which initially brought these allegations to light, was not the only group calling for an investigation. Several lawmakers also echoed these concerns, demanding a thorough probe by the Securities and Exchange Commission into the alleged fraud. The pressure was mounting on Neuralink and its founder, Elon Musk, to respond to these serious allegations. However, Neuralink's response was not forthcoming. The company chose to remain silent, at least publicly, on the allegations and the ensuing investigations. This silence left many questions unanswered raising even more concerns among investors, potential users of the technology, and the general public. Elon Musk, on the other hand, continued to defend his claims, maintaining that no monkeys had died as a result of Neuralink's implant. He stood by his statements, asserting that the animals chosen for the studies were already close to death. This defense, however, did little to quell the growing concerns. Despite these allegations, Neuralink continued with its plans, 
Even in the midst of controversy, Neuralink pressed on. Despite allegations and investigations, the company continued to make strides towards its goal of human trials. The journey wasn't smooth, as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration initially rejected Neuralink's request for human testing in 2022. But come May 2023, approval was granted. With the green light, Neuralink began recruiting volunteers for its human study, with a surge of interest resulting in thousands signing up. The technology developed by Neuralink has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with AI particularly for those with severe paralysis or degenerative diseases. But Elon Musk's vision doesn't stop there. He sees a future where even healthy individuals could sink their brains with AI. The prospects are exciting, but they are not without their challenges and ethical considerations. As Neuralink barrels into human tests, it must navigate the waters of scientific scrutiny, ethical debates, and public perception. Only time will tell what the future holds for Neuralink. So where does this leave us? Elon Musk's assertion that no monkeys died due to Neuralink's implants has been contested. Allegations of misconduct and potential fraud have led to multiple investigations. Despite this, Neuralink is forging ahead with human trials. With investigations still ongoing, the final chapter of this story is yet to be written.